We're going to cover all the iPhones from oldest to newest and the details of the iPhone model progression, exploring the full history of the iPhone. But first, are you wondering what kind of iPhone you have? You've come to the right place. To find out what kind of iPhone you have, open the Settings app. Tap on your Apple IT profile at the top. Scroll down until you see your devices. The first should be your iPhone. Tap on it. Under Device Info, you'll see Model. There's your iPhone model. If you don't see it here, then you are probably running a version of iOS from before 10.3. Now let's get started with a full tour of all of the iPhones and their makes and generations. June 29th of 2007, the first iPhone released. It had only 16 gigs of RAM, it weighed 135 grams or just 4.8 ounces, and it had this silver back with the rounded edges. July 11th of 2008, saw the release of the iPhone 3G. The iPhone 3G wasn't much different from the original iPhone, but it did add the App Store for the first time. It also introduced the 3G wireless signal, which made your internet just a little bit faster. June 19th of 2009 introduced the iPhone 3GS. The 3GS came with 32 gigabytes of storage, doubling what was available before. It still had the rounded back, but now it was a monocolor black or monocolor white. The camera got an upgrade to 3 megapixels over the 2 from the previous two versions. Apple also added voice control, although we'd have to wait a couple more years before the introduction of Siri. iPhone 4 released June 24th of 2010. The iPhone 4 was the first iPhone to have a front-facing camera. Little did Apple know selfies would take over the world. The iPhone 4 also got a retina display with 512 megabytes of memory. It was equipped to handle a lot more than the previous iPhone 3GS, which only had 256 megabytes of memory. It's starting to look a little bit more familiar, with the square screen and the side bevels much smaller. Five months later, the iPhone 4S released in October 14th of 2011, and it had a huge difference over the previous versions. The camera went from 5 megapixels to a whopping 8 megapixels. Apple also introduced the 64 gigabyte storage option but kept the memory at 512 megs. Video could then be recorded at 1080p in full HD. The iPhone 4S also introduced Siri for the first time with an onboard chip that allowed voice recognition and voice assistant features. Apple sold 4 million units of the iPhone 4S in its first week alone. The iPhone 5 released September 21st of 2012, and Apple sold 5 million units of the iPhone 5 in its first week. The camera stayed the same, but memory was boosted all the way up to one gigabyte. The iPhone 5 was the first iPhone with a lightning connector. And for the first time since the original iPhone, the screen got bigger. All previous generation displays were 3.5 inches, but the iPhone 5 was four inches. The iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C both released September 20th of 2013. Between the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C, Apple sold 9 million units in the first week of sales. The iPhone 5C was meant to be slightly more affordable and had a plastic shell. It was available in four different colors, but not too much else was different. The iPhone 5S, on the other hand, introduced Touch ID, dual flash, and slow motion video. Plus, it included the M7 motion coprocessor, which opened a new realm of possibilities and also helped save battery life. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus were introduced September 19th of 2014. Apple tends to make larger leaps between the original model and the S edition than it does from the S edition to a new model. The iPhone 6's internal specs were very similar to those of the iPhone 5S. The biggest difference was having a significantly larger screen and offering an even larger size called 6 Plus. The Retina display became HD, and the option to get an iPhone with 128 gigabytes of storage became available. But the amount of memory was the same, and the camera didn't see an upgrade. Despite this, Apple sold 10 million units in the first week. iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, September 19th, 2015. The 6S changed everything. Well, not everything. It basically looked the same. But inside, Apple upgraded the iPhone 6S quite a lot. The camera made a huge leap forward, going from 8 megapixels to 12 megapixels. The memory was also doubled from 1 gigabyte to 2 gigabytes. After the iPhone 6 had some bending issues, hashtag bendgate, Apple gave the iPhone 6S 7000 series aluminum to make sure that that never happened again. 
last but not least, 3D Touch was introduced. The iPhone SE introduced March 31st of 2016. Don't think I've forgotten about the iPhone SE. It had the awesome internal specs of the iPhone 6S in a small package and without 3D Touch, but overall the iPhone SE was introduced as a more affordable option that people really loved iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, introduced September 16th of 2016. Apple finally dropped the 16GB base model option with the 7 and the 7 Plus. They started at 32GB of storage and went up to 256GB. Apple also introduced a shiny jet black color. The iPhone 7 Plus proved to be more popular than previous Plus models due to its new dual camera, which made a significantly improved zoom feature possible and portrait mode software update that let iPhone 7 Plus users take impressive photos using depth of field. Perhaps the most controversial feature of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus was the one Apple removed, the headphone jack. The new iPhones shipped with ear pods that plugged into the lightning port and an adapter for traditional headphones. iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, September 22nd of 2017. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus introduced us to wireless charging with the glass cover on the back of the iPhone. The camera was awesome, with upgraded tools for editing and filtering our images. The True Tone display improved the viewing experience by automatically reducing blue light exposure. Users eventually, mostly, got used to not having a headphone jack and began adapting to the wireless lifestyle, although not without some annoyance. And then for some reason, Apple skipped iPhone 9 and went straight to iPhone 10. The iPhone 10, written as iPhone X, came out November 3rd, 2017. Speaking of awesome cameras, the iPhone X included an extra front-facing camera that let us take amazing selfies in portrait mode. Apple announced the XS and XS Max at its September 2018 event in the Steve Jobs Theater. These models were well named, as they were definite upgrades along the lines of the iPhone X. Both models had the front-facing camera for portrait mode selfies, the displays were edge-to-edge, -edge, and it all looked great with the Super Retina HD display. The biggest upgrade might be the smallest. The A12 Bionic chip increased the processing power while decreasing battery drain. The iPhone XR was also announced at the September 2018 event, but wasn't available right away. Because it was the cheaper of the new models, quite a few people decided to wait for the XR to become available. These iPhones were smaller than the XS and the XS Max, but still bigger than the 7 and 8 Plus. The display was not as crisp as the XS or XS Max, but with the Liquid Retina HD display, the difference wasn't too noticeable. The model also had the front-facing camera and came in way more colors than the XS or XS Max. The iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max all released September 20th of 2019. The iPhone 11 was the budget model, but it was also the first of Apple's budget models to include a second camera on the back. The Pro and Pro Max featured more detailed displays, much more powerful cameras, and a third camera. The second generation of the iPhone SE released April 24th of 2020. The second generation of the iPhone SE is still a budget model with a 4.7 inch Retina HD display and a home button with Touch ID that harkened back to the original iPhone SE. The second generation of the iPhone SE also offers many of the features of Apple's most expensive iPhones, including the A13 Bionic chip, advanced camera system with portrait mode and depth control, high definition video, wireless charging capability, and long battery life. Then in October of 2020, Apple introduced the iPhone 12 series, including the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max models. The iPhone 12 and 12 mini are the more budget oriented of the two, but are still very powerful iPhones, continuing in the tradition of the iPhone 11 and 11S. The iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max continue to focus on the camera system as their main improvement. They share the same processor as the 12 and 12 mini, meaning that they run at about the same speeds, but they come equipped with a third camera and offer their superior low light shooting for top notch images. And that's every iPhone from 2007 to 2020. If you enjoyed this video tip and would like to see more, go to iphonelife.com insider.